What if colors didn't exist? I wonder, what are you coloring? I'm coloring my house and my yard. And this is my dog and my bike. Hey, Wonder, have you ever wondered what would happen if we didn't have colors? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I guess I would be done coloring this picture. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You wouldn't have any colors on your paper. And you wouldn't have a bunch of colors for your clothes. Your TV shows would be black and white. And you wouldn't know if bananas were ripe or if your grass needed watering. And drivers wouldn't know whether stoplights were red or green. You wouldn't know which car was yours. And maybe you wouldn't know which house was yours. And you'd miss out on God's beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Wow, that's a lot of missing things in life. I think I like colors. I love the colors in the sunsets and sunrises. I love that my house is green and our car is blue. I love that I have cool colors for my clothes and cool crayons for coloring my picture. And it's such a great picture, Wonder. Great job! What if languages weren't invented? Near reader, I was thinking, what if I couldn't speak? Like, what if I didn't have a language? That's an interesting question, Wonder. I suppose if you had no language, you wouldn't need telephones. Because you wouldn't be able to talk to each other. And you wouldn't need a computer because you couldn't send any emails or read any websites. And you wouldn't be able to get mail from the mailbox because people couldn't write you letters. And you wouldn't need pencils or pens or markers, or paper, or cookbooks. And we wouldn't be able to learn anything from books or teachers or your mom. Then, the only way to learn something would be if you saw someone else do it, and you could copy that. In short, the world would be a mess if we couldn't speak to each other, write to one another, or read what others have learned and wish to teach us through books. And perhaps worst of all, we couldn't tell each other that we loved them. Wow, that would be such a boring life. I'm so glad I have a language to speak, to write, to read. Mom, I love you. What if trees didn't exist? Whee! That looks like a lot of fun, Wonder. Yeah! Hey, narrator. I wonder what life would be like without trees. That's a good question, Wonder. I guess I wouldn't have a swing anymore. Yep, and no treehouse. And we wouldn't have shade on a hot day. And we wouldn't have tree roots to hold down the soil, which could cause massive erosion and landslides. And we wouldn't have trees to block the wind, which could turn uh -oh. areas into barren desert instead of forest. And did you know that trees grow a lot of our fruits? Like pears and peaches and oranges and bananas. And trees turn carbon dioxide into oxygen wow. so we can breathe. That is called photosynthesis. When a tree pulls carbon dioxide, called CO2, and water, called H2O, into tiny pores called stomata. Then it uses energy from sunlight to create sugars and O2 which is the oxygen we breathe. Wow! So we can breathe because of trees? Yes. Trees are such a big part of our lives. I'm glad we have trees. I think I'll go swing again. What if roads weren't invented? Hey, Wonder, what if roads disappeared? What? Well, that wouldn't bother me. I don't even have a driver's license. But roads are how we move food. If they disappeared, you wouldn't have that sandwich. And trucks wouldn't be able to deliver wood to build tables. If roads disappeared, people wouldn't know how to get from place to place. And people would stay home all the time. Wow! So, without roads, we might have to wander through the wilderness to look for food. That could mean some people would get lost. And if roads disappeared, we wouldn't have to pay for road taxes so people would have more money to buy groceries. 
But then again, they'd have to drag their groceries home through the wilderness. And if roads disappeared, we wouldn't need any cars. And then we wouldn't need garages for the cars, and our homes could be larger. But on the plus side, there would be less roadkill and more animals. So maybe people would become hunters to get food. Wow, roads are really important. And then people would want to live by the water so they could travel by boat. Woohoo! I love boats! What if wood didn't exist? I wonder what the world would be like without wood. Wonder, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If there was no wood, then a woodchuck could chuck no wood. Wow. <laughs> You're right. And if there was no wood in the world, then you wouldn't have a desk. And we wouldn't have wood for houses. And there wouldn't be any trees. Or walking sticks. Or campfires. And for thousands of years, people have used wood to stay warm, cook their food, build their homes, and create new inventions. Without wood, people would have to use other things to build their homes. Big companies like IKEA would need to depend on other sources to make furniture. And paper and boats would never have been invented. Stone quarries might have to produce materials for stone houses. Or brick making companies. Yes, things would change, but we would still find a way to make homes and inventions. I have one more question. Yes? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck had no more wood? <laughs> <laughs> what if we didn't have elbows? Yeehaw! Two points! Good shot, Wonder. You're getting really good at this game. Yep! I'm good at playing basketball. Nothing can stop me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh? I bet you there's a few things that could slow you down. Like what? Like, what if you didn't have any elbows? Well, that wouldn't stop me. If you didn't have elbows, you wouldn't be able to bend your arms to touch your face. Or button your shirt. Or hold an umbrella. Or eat your food and you wouldn't be able to hold a book close enough to read it. They would have to redesign many things, like chairs, steering wheels and cars, and bicycle handlebars. And you wouldn't need those elbow pads. And you'd have a tough time getting that helmet off. We would need new machines to help us get our shirts on, or our pants on, or to help babies learn how to crawl. Wow, I really need my elbows. And you know what I like best about our elbows? Hugs. Aww. What if I didn't have teeth? Hmm. I wonder why I have teeth. Hello, Wonder. That is an excellent thing to wonder. Teeth are an amazing part of you. If you didn't have teeth, you wouldn't have to brush your teeth. And you might have trouble saying some words, like Mississippi or susceptible. Mississippi? Susceptible? There would be no need for dentists, so they might need to get another job. And toothpaste companies would go bankrupt, so they would have to change their business model. And food companies would have to stop making foods that need teeth to chew, like fried chicken, potato chips, or pretzels. Aw, I like chicken and apples. And tongue twisters would be super hard to say. Try Sally Sells Seashells by the Seashore. Sea Sells, Sea Sells by the Seashore. <laughs> People would also have a hard time eating and not being able to chew their food. This could mean people would have digestion problems or they would have to only eat soft foods. I've got an idea. The toothpaste companies could become food paste companies so people could eat a meal right out of a tube. Now that's some creative thinking, Wonder. And also kind of gross. Yeah, but I think I'd miss crunchy apples, or potato chips, or fried chicken. You know what I would miss the most, Wonder? Your happy smile. 
What if ice didn't exist? Hi there, Wonder. That looks delicious. What is it? It's a snow cone. It's made out of ice shavings and delicious flavor. Have you ever thought about what the world would be like without ice? Hey, that was my snack. Would snacks be gone? Not all snacks. But people couldn't make snow cones without ice. And they couldn't make ice cream without ice. And before refrigerators were invented, people used ice to keep their food cold. And most food, if it isn't kept cold, will spoil and go bad quickly. And if you got bonked on the head, you wouldn't have ice to keep the swelling down. Or ice for your drinks. And there would be no more ice skating, no more hockey or ice fishing. And the big pieces of ice at the North Pole would melt into the water. And that would make the level of the oceans go up. And people at the beach would be flooded. Oh no, that would be awful. But on the plus side, there wouldn't have been icebergs. So the Titanic would never have hit an iceberg and sunk. Oh yeah, you're right. I wonder how many other boats have hit icebergs. It's a good thing we do have ice though. It is an important part of how our world works. When water gets cold to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, it changes from a liquid to a solid that we call ice. Wow, that's really amazing. We live in an amazing world, Wonder. <laughs>